Hello, my name is Nelly, and today I want to talk to you guys about some of the most common mistakes made when you're filing your crypto taxes on Coinly. The number one mistake people make is forgetting to add all of their wallets. So Coinly needs your full transaction history to accurately report your taxes. They also need your transaction history from previous years from all of your wallets. A common mistake that we see here is people, for example, adding their Coinbase account, but not adding their Coinbase Pro account. So what ends up happening is they have a bunch of transactions that are not classified. Coinly does not know that you're making an internal transfer between accounts, so it doesn't know how to assess that from a tax perspective. So it is extremely important to add every single exchange, every single wallet uh, you work on. The second most common mistake is forgetting to verify that all your data was imported correctly. So I made a separate video entirely on you know, websites like Binance that do not give you your full transaction history through the API. So I will leave it in the top right corner. Um, that's this other corner. Uh, yeah, it's the other corner, top right corner. Um, so if you want to learn more about that, I would definitely recommend that video. Certain transactions on that website are simply not included in the API. And what you need to do is um, download the CSV files and import them into your wallets. If there are any, you know, balance differences, you would get a icon kind of like the one you see on on the screen before you, a little yellow icon here, which would tell you some of those differences. The number three most common mistake is forgetting to review your transactions. And depending on how many transactions you make in a year, this could be a process that takes a little bit longer. So what you want to do is you want to go on transactions. Uh, you want to click type. You want to go with deposits and withdrawals. For label, you want to go no label. This will filter out most transactions like costs, trades, airdrops, etc. So here you can potentially find large um, with withdrawals and deposits that you believe might actually be between your own wallet. So if I, ta I talked about it earlier, if you have two wallets like Coinbase and Coinbase Pro and you didn't add one of them, here you might have a loss or gain, where in reality, all you did was a transfer between accounts. So it's very important to review these, these types of transactions. So you also want to look for any deposits and withdrawals that are coming from um, staking pools and mark them as either um, sent to or sent from um, pool. This will prevent any uh, profits or losses from being calculated for these transactions. So an important note here is do not do this for liquidity tokens as they are handled differently and these tags are only um, staking related transactions. Also make sure to tag any forks, airdrops, um, mining income, rewards. Coinly does this automatically in most cases, but sometimes data imported may not tell Coinly uh, that, transaction, that a transaction is a reward or mining income. So I have an example here of a screenshot. So these are the four different things we talked about um, where you can tag um, these transactions. Lastly, clear all your filters and go to the right side here and sort by highest gains. This will show you any significant, you know, gains that are not classified. So we want to look for any, you know, trades, withdrawals uh, with unrealistically high gains. Okay, the last mistake is, you know, not looking at your actual tax report review. So you want to go to tax reports right here. Uh, and then select the year that you want to download the report for and also previous ones if you like. Um, Coinly ha if Coinly has detected any issues, you will see warnings. So for me, I, you know, I already know that Binance doesn't have the full transaction history, so I need to add a um, CSV file. So that's totally okay. Here is another example of certain warnings that might pop up. Um, but here's a summary of your transactions, deposits, withdrawals, trades. And we want to make sure that we have, you know, cleared up all these warnings or we know what they are and that's pretty much it if you are for some reason not confident or not sure about certain things and you'd like an expert um, to look over your case that is an option in one of our plans so feel free to you know look into that um, one of Coinly's experts would basically just go over the data in detail and ensure that you know everything looks good and you know there's resolutions to any issues you might have as always, if you've enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you next time. Peace.